We, were, we thought we'd try something uh, different. We, we thought that uh, it was, uh, might be hard to make a universe out of nothing, particularly relying on something that, by definition, didn't exist. So uh, we, we thought, well, maybe the universe isn't made out of nothing. It's made out of something, and that something could be itself. Um, and so um, inflation allows you to do this. And, um, I knew there was something in there. You knew there was something. In there. Now this is the Rich, model. do you have the universe in, a tup comes, in that Tupperware? He never comes without a visual aid. <laughs> this is the model. Universe in a Tupperware container, yes. So, so, so here's a picture of our model. It looks like something Dr. Seuss invented. Um, uh, this, is, uh, this glass represents space-time. We're showing one dimension of time going up this funnel here. That's an, that, the, this is an inflating universe here. The circumference is getting bigger as time goes up here. Um, it, it, we're showing uh, this is an inflating universe. And um, uh, Linde, who's at Stanford, showed that uh, quantum fluctuations that we've heard about can cause a universe to form, give birth to another universe here. And so this is a universe, baby universe, born, and this is called chaotic inflation. Uh, this is a universe born by quantum fluctuations off of this one. It's a branch that grows up to be as big as this trunk, and then it can sprout branches of its own. But so, Rich, phenomenon. you're holding in your hand four universes, is that correct? You're just four. Yeah. Fine, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not heavy, they're my universe. Okay. <laughs> so so uh, these are four universes. now. What intrigued Neil about this is that he say, well, well, what's outside here? What's this expanding into? Nothing. <laughs> the only thing that's real here is the glass model itself. It's, it's curved. It has a shape. But to visualize it, we put it in this background space. But the background space doesn't exist. Uh, just the glass itself. So uh, here's the universe coming off here. So uh, Li Jing Li and I said, well, uh, what about if one of the branches simply branched off here, circled back in time, and grew up to become the trunk? This is possible if you have a time travel solution in general relativity, of which they exist. Um, it, it makes a little closed uh, time loop here. And uh, if, you, if you go, and the universe is inflating, so this branch gets bigger and bigger as it comes back here, and the trunk is bigger than the branch. And so if you're, if you're here um, and, and you went around this, you would be able to come back in time and visit the event uh, where you were. This is a time travel to the past in general relativity. Um, so uh, uh, this is what this looks like. Um, every event here has events that preceded and caused it in the usual way. So if you're here, there's an earlier event here. There's an earlier event here. There's an earlier event here. And so if you go back in time, you go back further and further, and then you start going around. It's like the Earth has no easternmost point, although it has, uh, it's finite toward the east. And so we thought this might be useful for addressing the you know, famous first cause problem. Uh, this universe uh, is finite to the past, but it has no uh, earliest event. And the interesting thing about this was that um, uh, this geometry here um, uh, explained the usual causal set of events we have where uh, photons go only toward the future. If you, if you shake a photon here, it goes out and intersects Alpha Centauri four years from now because it's four light years away. Um, Maxwell's equations allow uh, what's called advanced waves that go to the past and would inter which be shown intersecting Alpha Centauri four years ago. But we don't see them in nature. So it must, it doesn't have anything to do with electrodynamics. It must have something to do with the beginning of the universe. So in this case, if you, the only self-consistent solution for this is one where photons go toward the future. Because if you had one that came back here, it would come back here, go around an infinite amount of time, gaining energy all the time, it blow up and cause a singularity and not be the geometry you started with. That'd be like killing your grandmother. <laughs> so you're not allowed to do that because uh, you have to have a self-consistent solution. So it also explained the entropy area of time because this was cold. Wait, so you're creating high. the universe out of itself rather out than itself. out of nothing. Yes, we, we were right. asking the okay. question, can the laws of physics allow the universe to create itself? Are there laws of question physics mark. out here? No. There's nothing out there. 
That's so what, real. What, what, okay, what, you have me 